Hey, let Alali and Puccino. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm I got back home from the market. And, and this is who is greeting us. So, hello to every single one of you from Puccino, from Ali. And myself, Andrea, is just over there looking at us, <laughs> having fun. <laughs> so, let's do this, beautiful souls. A huge and big warm welcome to every single one of you. Um, it's a Saturday early afternoon, 1 p.m. EST in Florida. Hello and happy Saturday, wherever you are right now, whichever time and day you're watching this from. Happy, happy, happy now moment. Hello, Melissa. Love your sweatshirt. My favorite cartoon. Yes. Yes, it's all about the fun and actually I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk today energy wise, energy healing wise. I'm going to talk about the powerful meanings we are assigning to the energies, to ourselves, everything what's going on and what kind of effect that is having on our experience and it is very powerful to become aware to become aware which is self empowerment if knowledge is about yourself what you're going through what's happening within you in your subconscious is self empowerment and oh my goodness Puccino Puccino is loving where he is uh, I hope every single one of you is doing amazingly and if you have this light holder, I think it's sliding a little bit. If you have any spiritual energy healing questions at all, this is the time to post them right now in the comments. Post at the beginning question and be sure to finish with a question mark so I know that it's a question from in between all of the comments and if we can I'm going to get to it if not maybe I will answer that question another time or in comments over here if you are new over here entirely this is a day six out of seven every single day lives I am doing where we are talking and connecting and chatting about energy and energy healing. And if you are entirely new, my name is Elisa Moza. I am an energy healer, spiritual mentor, and I am absolutely passionate, passionate about helping people heal their energy, heal their frequency from that low spin of guilt and shame, unworthiness, lack, not feeling good enough into the full on frequency of wholeness, empowerment, love, liberation and freedom. And that is always manifested in their finances. My clients are manifesting huge amount of money, new careers, new relationships, but most of all, safety and security within them and around them. There is not depending on the outside environment, especially not depending on the old conditioned mind is telling them. My clients are manifesting a uh, freedom, freedom, liberation, peace of mind, because we are addressing the core of the issue, which is their core energy that they are driving on. And at the moment, hi, Alex, it's amazing to have you here. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi, Melissa. Um, at the moment, I have a few spots left for one-on-one -on -one work with me. I only work with few people. It's the highest level of support I can offer and give to others. Would you like to go or stay? Should I go or should I stay? By the way, he loves to dance. He loves to dance. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Hi, Patrick. Hi, Suzette. Okay, I'm going to leave you here. I think you want to stay. Um, at the moment, I am offering only the highest, I'm offering in that uh, at the highest level of support and I only work with few people at a time. So if you feel called to step up on your journey, this is, this is the moment. And if you feel some kind of pull towards working with me and you are ready on this chapter of your journey to invest in you, in your ever growth, in your healed heart, in your next chapter, this is it. Send me a message. 
we will see if we are a match to do this work together. And today is the one, uh, tomorrow will be the last day where we're talking about energy. So I wanted to address something very, very, very important. And not many of us are talking about it at all. In fact, in fact, throughout my whole journey, in the last seven years, I met only, so in last year, last few months, I met only two people who are actually talking about it and teaching, you would like to go Puccinek? And teaching what I'll be talking about it here today. Would you like to come back or go? You're not sure, Puccino? Oh, Puccino, baby boy. Yeah, Puccino is in a moment. Puccino have a beautiful moment when he's not all crazy and, and running after ball. He's like, I want to hug. I want to hug. We all have these moments, right? Mm. So I only had actually two people only, if I remember well, who talk about it. And hearing this the first time over a year ago, changed so much on my journey. I heard a little bit about it before, but not in the depth that reached my heart and allowed me to use that as a tool. And then recently, the huge big coach that I invested in myself with is talking about it in a depth. And I started looking deeper and deeper and deeper into the creator and manifestor source particle within me and what am I creating in my life? Because we constantly create and manifest. We constantly are up to something. There is constantly something happening within our energy and the outside world will always be reflecting what's happening over here. So if I am not aware what's going on within me, in my thought patterns, I'm not actually aligned my thoughts, my feelings, my emotions, and all of them, four of them, and my actions are not in alignment with what I want to create, or I'm not even sure what I'm creating, what I want. I don't even set an intention. I don't even look within what's happening. I'm manifesting random stuff. And what I'll be manifesting, what I already manifested in the past, which is guilt, shame, unworthiness, lack, apathy, random stuff, random, 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 oh, 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 this and that, okay? When we have a full-on awareness, clarity brings crystal clear results. Clarity brings money. Clarity brings purity. Clarity manifests harmony, divine harmony and alignment. So the more crystal clear you can be here and now with you, the more you will benefit from it. And I'm going to encourage you to recenter yourself as we did in any other life. Take a deep, 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 deep loving breath to the bottom of your torso. And be fully present in all of your centers. Hi, Shalvel. Hello, gorgeous. Recenter yourself entirely. Allow your beautiful body, your soul, your heart. Feel your awareness, your love, your appreciation. And now still keep some awareness on your inner energy field. Feel your inner energy field and some of your awareness on the content we are sharing right now over here. So allow yourself to be so aware of how your heart and your body is responding to the frequency you are surrounded with right now. So we can consciously pick and choose. Hi, Madalena. So we can consciously pick and choose what works for you right now. What is the message you meant to hear today? So you can consciously allow yourself to absorb the light slash information or not and choose according to your divine guidance. 
why the group that I have that has like 200,000 people is called Sovereign Hearts. Because I'm not teaching you to eat the fish. I'm teaching you how to catch your own fish, how to be the master of your own energy, not someone who obeys what I or someone else is believing that it's right or wrong. And this is exactly where, hello Shelbel, hello my lovely, hello Marie. And this is exactly where we are going right now with our energy. I wanna test something with you. I want you to close your eyes or keep them open and with your whole open energy center, feel, feel the gratitude. Just feel, connect with the depth of your soul as much as that is possible right now, just for this time moment. You can come back later on to wherever you were if you wish, or you can stay in that state after. But for now, just focus on this now moment. And feel whatever is going on within you and around you. And allow yourself to see and feel so strongly the difference between your energy and your container and someone else's container. For example, myself, because I'm speaking to you right now. You can pick and choose someone else later on. Go to the park or sit across your husband, ex, mother, friend, whatever. And just feel the difference between your frame, your energy, your container, your intention or no intention, and someone else's energy without like a sponge absorbing everything. Allow yourself to be in your frame. Allow yourself to feel it. And now the game starts. Now the mastery of energy can continue. So let's talk about look. How do I look today? Okay, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about sweatshirts. Let's talk about the gold. Let's talk about the hair. Let's talk about what your conditioned mind is telling you about that look today. So I remember when I started looking at the coaches online. And I never liked that look when the coach, not that that is wrong because it isn't, but I didn't like the look when someone was uptight and looked like a lady in the office who's gonna put a stamp on the top of my papers with my picture and my name on it. Okay, like an office, office, working somewhere in the office, you know, look. For me, it looked like from one prison to another, it just didn't resonate with me because I was unable to see myself this way. So for me, the true and real freedom, 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 meaning and feeling and frequency was to be able to look the way I feel today, I would like to look like, okay? Now I want you to tap in just with awareness frequency into what your head is telling you about that. Just as an example, no judging, no criticizing, just as an example, because I want to simply lead you to your own empowerment right now. So if you see someone who is telling you that they overcame codependence, the most cunning and baffling of all conditions, illnesses, whichever you want to come, someone who came over alcoholism, someone who overcame addiction towards guilt and shame, Someone who overcame depression and suicidal thoughts that they were suffering from since they were 14, okay? What if someone is telling you that from being single for eight years and working in nine to five and being in full on debt is now married in a year and two weeks, is married, freed from any debts, any mortgage with huge savings and working, they're passionate, being paid in abundance for being themselves, which is my case over here. I am paid in abundance for being me. How deeply is that triggering you? Is it triggering you? Okay. Watch what's happening within you because those red signals, those flashing lights, those 
irritations or maybe like what are you kidding me <gasps> really all of those moments are signals they are signals they are the lights and indicators tick 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 showing you what to look at okay this is so empowering this is so empowering and i didn't like to do it at the beginning but i noticed how empowering and freeing and liberating it is that i made myself love it i made myself love the process and i kept on repeating it every single day sometimes five seven ten times a day okay melissa says i earn abundance in being me yes Exactly, my love. Exactly. I'm paid in abundance for being me. Ah, my passion. My passion is my passion work. Helping people heal their energy. Teaching people how to tap into their own sovereignty, freedom and liberation. This is the most empowering thing I can think of. I can imagine that I can help with another person after I did that myself okay so now look into all of that stuff now all the stuff I told you the person who overcame all of that stuff manifested all of that stuff okay how do you how do your mind tells you they should look like how your mind tells you they should look like they should talk like they should behave like look at those points just watch them just simply watch them love yourself enough to be an observer to be an observer get out get yourself out of the way and just observe what's going on, what's happening, and notice how that picture is maybe so different to the picture you see right now, okay? <laughs> maybe the person that you believe is overcoming, uh, that overcame depression is still having this face. It's just not in the lowest way. Maybe your mind, conditioned mind, tells you that overcoming depression is, is that all the time, okay? Watch, just watch those patterns. Why? Because the meaning you give to everyone and a snapshot judgment, judgment in a statement, meaning statement, not that you judge someone and you send them for uh, 20 years in prison, not this type of judge, Judgment is a statement, is a crystal clear vision. It's assignment of a meaning that something is like that, where it might not. And I want you to look at the meaning you are assigning. So if you see someone on the street wearing cartoon things, their 40 year old sweatshirt, if I would be in Poland, there is a big chance that few people would say this or that okay maybe not maybe wrong maybe it's just my own head story look at the meaning you have behind it and now i want you to look at the meaning your mind is giving you okay so if it is 7 p.m right now where you are it's probably dark it might be uh, winter time for you right now if i would tell you that if you would go out right now for a walk in a safe environment with a deep breathing and looking into the moon for half an hour and if you will do that every day for two weeks your life is gonna change now you don't know maybe you never did it you never know maybe anything about it you're fully open you don't give any meaning so you go and do it and what's happening you're experiencing it and you're benefiting from it and you're rocking and there is a new energy that comes out of you. And what is the meaning you assign to it? It is phenomenal. It is amazing. Every 7 p.m. at night time, I'm going around in a safe neighborhood and I'm walking for half an hour and I look into the moon and I feel gratitude and I tap into my pineal gland when I am walking and I'm doing breath work and I'm stepping in my power. And you give this type of meaning. Okay? What if I would tell you right now to go and eat meat after you have been vegan for five years. I'm telling you, I'm telling you go and eat meat, okay? What would it happen? The meaning you have assigned to it, it doesn't matter what's true or not, because we are the source creator of our own reality. 
internally, we create chemistry within us to whatever we believe. Placebo effect. I've been working in a huge big pharma. Every time they are giving a trial drug to a group of people, they're giving a false placebo to them. What's happening with placebo? Half of them or 70% of them have a huge massive shifts and results with eating just fake, not real tablet. Okay? Look at the meaning you are assigning to everything you are doing today. Start small. Start small. Look at the meaning you are assigning to someone who has a label doctor. Okay? And you don't feel maybe too good. You feel weak. You don't know what's going on. And you decide to go to doctor because you have been told the doctor knows better than you. That it is not your job to feel into your body. Is something wrong with doctors? Hell no. No, they're amazing. They're awesome. High five. High five. But look. Look at the meaning you give to you checking within your body what's going on and feeling within your body. And the meaning you give to someone who has a label. It doesn't matter if they love what they're doing or they hate. It doesn't matter if they care about you or they do not give an F. Okay? It doesn't matter. Look at the meaning you assign to the verdict that someone gave you. Maybe someone told you you are stupid. And look how much you hold onto it and grasp it. Don't judge yourself. Don't criticize. Don't blame them. Just look at the power behind the meaning you give to everyone and everything. And ask yourself where you are right now in your life. Because if you can own your energy, if you can own what you are made of just in this now moment, you can truly and truly move on like a queen of your own magnificent chapter, book, the series, like a king of your own castle. If you can own, if you can look with it, if you cannot do it on your own, don't blame yourself. Don't judge yourself. Don't be ashamed of yourself. I couldn't. The worst thing ever for me to do seven years ago was to look within. Look at myself, look at my actions, look how I was in a self-destructive mode, unable to stop. If you cannot do it on your own, it just simply means you need help, you need support, and you need the right person in your life. The one your heart is opening up towards. Not to fall in love, not to have them as your best friend ever, forever, to the rest of your days. Not to have the person in your life forever and ever and ever and ever. And if they, they don't reply within 24 hours, it means they don't like you. No, 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 not at all. Someone who looked within their own shit, overcame and no longer were weakened by their shadow. So if you can... Look within and no longer be weakened by your lower self. You are in charge. You are a master of your energy. Energy, emotion, emotion. Every energy has been designed to flow. No energy has been designed to come here and stay. It doesn't work like that. It's a flow. Until we heal, most of our energy goes into pushing it down. Uh, destruction, 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 resistance, fear, and lack. And we signed up for it willingly. Yeah, I want to come to earth, especially in this time of growth and expansion. I want my soul to expand more by being as a human, even if it means just for a short period of time. And especially give me the biggest, the biggest, most challenging tasks. I'm not going to go there and, and sit like a holiday. I'm going there to expand. I'm going there to grow. I'm going there to be all in the experience. How do we grow? Through pain. Suffering is optional. It's a unconscious or conscious. Suffering is resisting the pain, not allowing it to flow. Pain is just another emotion. 
the meaning we assign to it that it's wrong. That's what creates suffering. That's where we start to push it down. No, it's wrong. I cannot feel it. God forbid feeling the pain. Are you kidding me? Are you crazy? I came here to only feel good and amazing and lay on the beach amongst the palms. That's what I came here for. That's what my whole life is about. And then maybe that's the case for you. It's not for me. And I definitely did not came here to be in pain and stay in pain. I came here to move to you the pain and allow the pain to move through me and allow it to touch others in beautiful ways so they can move through their pain. I'm very emotional right now. That really moved me. The spirit. I am very grateful I can share that with you. What is it you are running away from inside? What is it that it wants to just simply flow to you and out of you so it can enrich your spirit into expansion, out of contraction, into expansion? What is it that needs to be seen and felt, acknowledged and simply released in its own way? Hi, Elena. Hi, Mari. Hi, Samia. I appreciate you all so much, beautiful souls. Liliana! Johnny! Oh, beautiful, beautiful beings of light. What is it that your heart is calling you right now to do? If you think that the life is about doing something after you no longer feel, after you no longer in, are in pain. Hello, beautiful sunshine. Hello, my beautiful sunshine, my little nugget. I love you. Love you. You will be waiting forever. But not actually forever until that body says like <laughs> enough. Enough hello little boobak. Of course they're both are here. Of course they both are here. <laughs> so if you keep on giving yourself a meaning, what is the meaning behind this life? What is the meaning behind the chapter you are in right now? Can you love yourself enough to be honest? And if you cannot do that, because I couldn't seven years ago, I needed help. I needed help to even learn how to be honest and trust another. And I needed constantly look within every single day and keep on investing in myself and expanding. There is no way I will be here without doing what I did. I kid you not, guys, in October, 1st October till end of November, I invested $8,000 in myself and in my ever growth. Not to learn business strategies. No. Not this time. Maybe another time. Maybe never. Who knows? Not to learn how to uh, invest money into the stock market and then take it back so much more. Not to learn about Bitcoin or whatever. No. I invested in my ever growth. So I feel amazing in my own skin after I manifested all my dreams, desires to see, okay, what is the next chapter about? How can I heal even deeper my own nervous system? What else Eliza and Eliza's soul is needing right now? And I love it. I love it. And you know what? I am worthy. Taking action and showing up for myself every day. It isn't that hard, that crazy. Taking those actions, showing up, seeing how to do it, learning about it, it isn't that hard. Believing that I am worthy, believing deeply inside of me that I am worthy of investing in myself and the results and manifesting and having it and keeping it and growing from it. This is the real work. There is no way I can do it on my own. Because I can take myself on my own only so far. And it's amazing to rely on myself. And it's amazing to use someone's help. I'm going to finish with that. If you guys have any questions, uh, get them for tomorrow. 1 p.m. EST. Last call. Last life that we go together in this high, 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 high frequency. On Monday. We are doing a quantum dive into healed energy. It's a two-day event with one and a half 
hour of super high frequency where I will be teaching you. I'll be teaching your beautiful heart how to tap into your energy, how to sense your energy, find energy blocks, how to heal them, how to learn more about your all energy centers, chakras, and how to quantum dive into your most juicy and phenomenal energetic signature of the highest version of you you can, how to be in it, and how to stay in it. It's a life-changing event. If you crave to expand and grow and learn, and those who work with me on one-on-one -on -one are getting free access to that quantum life. So if you seek for help and support, do not hesitate to ask me. And we will see if we are actually mastering that work together. Please comment below what is the biggest value you got so far from all of it. Allow the energy to be exchanged. We cannot just breathe in, in or out, out, out. It has to be. It has to be equal exchange. Comment below. Share this video or any other from these seven days on your platform so other people can see this information, can feel and tune in with this high frequency. You never know where others are. You never know what kind of voice they hear in their inner ear. You just never know that. For me, no one would ever expect what I was going through. Those who suffer the most inside we're learning so well how to hide it because we are not allowing the healthy. But that's for another video. Share this content with others. Be the golden chain that passes on the light. Be amazing. Be you. You didn't come here to just be another KK. You didn't come here to be another someone. You came to express your magnificence in your own unique way the way it feels fun for you today which you know just stole my flip-flop yeah um and you can do it if i could do it feeling so horrible unworthy so unworthy even to take a breath for most of my life you can do that too all of these habits is something we are learning and we can the same way unlearn and learn new ones. We just need the right tools. I believe in you. I love you. You're phenomenal. Join us for Quantum Dive. The link is attached to the description in this video. Click on that link. Read about it. Tune in with your heart. Ask if you desire to heal your energy and learn how to heal it, sign up ASAP. Do not allow your old conditioned mind to take you out of your heart's desires. Take action. Join us on Monday and I will see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. You see, over here. I'm so excited. I'm sending you lots of love. Comment below. What is the biggest impact for you from all of these seven days? And I'm just so excited to see you soon. Lots of love.